What is up guys, it's Mike here and today we finally found it, the 5-pack Bigfoot Legacy Exclusive Target 5-pack. I hope I said that right, but here it is. Alright guys, so forgive me right off the bat if the mic sounds a little choppy. I am currently on vacation and we are filming from the hotel couch. So, um, yeah. Sorry for the poor quality. But, um, here it is. We finally found it. We are in currently Wildwood, New Jersey here for the next week and a half. And I finally got it. Finally found it. And here it is. So, first thing off the bat, I am very, very excited that Hot Wheels decided to make a five pack with Bigfoots. I think this was a tremendous idea on their part. And I honestly think it was a good way to use Bigfoot. However, you got to take the good with the bad, and there's a lot of issues with this pack. But first, I want to go over the packaging. As you see, it is the exclusive Bigfoot Legacy 5 pack. Very cool design. I love the Hot Wheels. You know, you got your typical volcano, Hot Wheels tracks in the back, which is pretty cool. I really love how they put on the top here, Bigfoot with the little logo right here as well. I mean, overall, it's a pretty cool looking pack. I like how it says Bigfoot Legends right here. Now, this pack is a little beat up, though, but... It is okay. And then on the back here, we actually don't have your typical how Hot Wheels has like a five pack of trucks with their stats. We just have a picture of the truck, trucks. And we also have a little saying here that I actually haven't read it yet. So let's read it here. It says, always imitated, but never duplicated. Bigfoot is the legendary and original monster truck that crushed the way for entirely new and exciting segment of motorsports. So whether you're a monster truck fan or the legend that started it all, this collection is for you. So you got to give it to Hot Wheels because I really do love how they did this. And a lot of collectors, especially a lot of Bigfoot collectors, probably love this too. However, um, you got to take the good with the bad, right? So we've been seeing now Bigfoot since 2019 with Hot Wheels. And it's been a great run. It's been pretty awesome. We have a lot of cool looking trucks. And we have a special Target exclusive, which was this Stars and Stripes, which was Bigfoot 9, which was kind of weird because if you know bigfoot that stars and stripes body never ran on bigfoot nine and bigfoot nine was also the truck that got kind of seized in brazil and the truck kind of got stuck over there <laughs> but um yeah so the thing i gotta complain about this set or this five pack is look i love the exclusive truck it's about time we got a bigfoot in a 164 scale trophy body bigfoot um the truck they picked was one of the original trophy truck bodies i believe for bigfoot and it was that speed energy truck actually i don't even know the name of it here uh trick flow i believe i remember one not too long ago it was like speed energy and it was something with robbie gordon if you guys watch nascar you know who robbie gordon is he does all the crazy motorsports stuff like that and at one time i believe robbie gordon was actually going to buy a bigfoot truck but something happened to where the sponsorship fell apart or he just canceled it something happened and bigfoot actually ended up taking the truck back and the truck i believe came became bigfoot 19 i think bigfoot 18 or 19 and that is this truck right here so i'm gonna start off with the good i love how they added an exclusive bigfoot truck i think we needed it you know seeing all the same paint schemes just jumbled around kind of stinks but it is very refreshing to see a bigfoot truck that we haven't seen before and one that looks just like the truck did in real life with the black tires, the orange trophy truck body. I think that's really cool. And I really do love how they added the headlights and everything on that truck as well. However, one good exclusive truck <laughs> kind of doesn't make up for everything. Well, if you want to get tactical, there's two exclusive trucks because this Bigfoot Stars and Stripes, this was actually only available in Targets for a limited time. And a lot of people never got this Bigfoot in their Target store. And it was kind of a rare truck. Now, I recently made a trade with some people because I do have some of these. I think I got about two or three left at my house, so give or take. I've actually been finding them in the Northeast pretty easily now out of nowhere. But that was a kind of hard truck to get. However, the three other trucks here, you got the Bigfoot from 2019, which, okay, cool. That's the first one that Hot Wheels made. I understand that. This Bigfoot over here, the Super Duty body, that one is the one that's actually on the tour in real life or was before Corona. And I can understand that. 
the Bigfoot right here, the Flames one. Now, this one came out not too long ago, and it was just a complete peg warmer, at least in my area. Now, the way I kind of wish Hot Wheels approached this was have five brand new Bigfoots we haven't seen before. And I'm not saying that as like a whole new like brand new truck or a custom truck. But when you look at Bigfoot and you look at the history and you look at all the paint schemes it could have came with, you know, I'm happy we got this exclusive truck. It's nice and refreshing to see a new Bigfoot, but I'm not happy that, you know, we got the flame Bigfoot, we got the super duty Bigfoot, and then we got the Bigfoot from basically 2019. You can keep the stars and stripes one in here because yeah, that was exclusive. A lot of people didn't get it. And I understand that. But I feel like when Hot Wheels signed Bigfoot, there is just so many things they could have did. Now, I understand COVID happened and maybe that had issues with maybe producing more trucks or more paint schemes for Bigfoot. But um, I really, really am looking forward to seeing a Bigfoot in a trophy body with the Bigfoot 8 paint scheme or the Cruiser paint scheme. I think Hot Wheels needs to make that. And that's basically one one of the most popular trucks they have yet to make yet and they really need to get on that um i really thought when i first heard about this five pack exclusive i thought it was going to be in this set i was really hoping for that but um we did get a trophy truck body of a bigfoot not the one i personally wanted but i'll take it you know but i don't know i mean i like this pack i'm a huge bigfoot fan and i love that hot wheels did this and you can kind of argue hot wheels kind of did this because spin master has their own five pack and their five packs you know they had the grave digger they had max d and this year they have el toro loco so this is the first five pack from hot wheels that's basically like a history of bigfoot which is pretty cool but i do wish it was different paint schemes but other than that i am happy to see it i really do like it now i like I said, I have not seen this thing in stores. The only way I was able to get it was I found it in Wildwood. Um, if you guys ever go to Wildwood, New Jersey, and you go on, like, the boardwalk, there's a place there that does monster truck rides. And they usually have monster trucks for toys and stuff and, you know, everything like that. And it was sitting right there. Now, I did pay a little extra. I believe this is 20 bucks in Target. This was actually... What was it? $27. So not that much. I mean, only $7 more, I believe. But hey, I couldn't find it in any targets in North Jersey. Found it in Wildwood. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is a pretty cool set nonetheless. Like I said, a lot of people, when they first saw it, weren't too happy. Um, I mean, I like it, but I do wish it was different paint schemes. In a dream scenario... I wish Hot Wheels would make some Bigfoots from like the early 90s, like that old, even the F-150 from 1998, you know, that paint scheme, you know, you got the Chrome Illusion paint scheme from the early 2000s. I mean, it's so much they can do. And I feel like since they just copy and recycle trucks, they won't, but it's such a golden opportunity for them. And not only that, but it would sell a lot more. And to every collector, um, you know, we're dying for it. We're, we need it, especially Bigfoot collectors. You know, a lot of people make Bigfoot customs and they do an amazing job on them. And I'm not saying Hot Wheels needs to come out with like a Dungeon of Doom or like the Hulk Hogan trucks or the Stinger trucks or like, you know, weird ones that weren't Bigfoot. But if Hot Wheels can make like a 124 skill trophy truck body bigfoot with the cruiser paint scheme or the bigfoot a paint scheme that would be awesome you know if they made a retro pack with like all 90s bigfoots like the power wheels bigfoot on the right casting you know you put the 90 you know 1995 power wheels bigfoot on like an f-150 casting or f-250 whatever it was back then you know instead of throwing it on like this casting you know or this pickup truck casting that would be so cool or if they make wildfoot you know there's so many they can do i mean i don't want to say the five packs of letdown um i like it but i don't know i feel like they could have did more i'm gonna say that corona probably got in the way or something got in the way to where they couldn't produce more paint schemes or more trucks from their early years or something like that but i'm really hoping if not this year, Hot Wheels, you came out swinging this year. The first couple cases of the single packs were absolutely insane. Snakebite, you guys did an amazing job with Snakebite. 
Um, it's nice to see another Team Bigfoot truck being made. But we need more Bigfoot paint schemes, man. <laughs> I mean, we need, you know, where's Wildfoot? Where's Chrome Illusion Bigfoot? Where's all those? We need those. That would be so cool if Hot Wheels made them. You know, it's cool we got these. But let's make this a thing right here where in 2022, oh my God, 2022, in 2022, we won't see the Stars and Stripe Bigfoot or we won't see this Bigfoot on the back. We won't see like the flame Bigfoot right here. If anything, do the Trophy Truck Power Wheels retro scheme, you know, do something like that. I think that would be kind of cool. However, final thoughts on this, I would probably rate this just this is more cooler <laughs> i think than like the trucks in it um i love the orange one i'm actually gonna if i find another five pack i'm actually gonna customize this truck so i can't wait for that i'm happy they put the headlights on it it actually does not have tail lights but i am happy there are headlights on that so that is pretty cool right there um one thing they could have did too you know with the five pack here you guys just couldn't put headlights on this bigfoot <laughs> Um, <laughs> that would have been cool. Just put headlights in the grill on the stars and stripes one. Oh man, come on, Hot Wheels. But um, yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think of this five pack. Like I said, it's pretty rare in my area right now. So I'm actually on vacation, and that's how I found it. I had no intention of finding anything down here in Wildwood, but we went for a monster truck ride and to see when the thunder on the beach is happening. Hopefully it's happening soon. They don't know yet as of this video, but um, hopefully soon. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this five pack. If you guys are excited for it, if you guys are a fan of Bigfoot, if you guys are probably gonna just skip out on this because for the most part, yeah, it is an exclusive truck, but there's only one exclusive truck and the other ones we've seen countless times, maybe besides the stars and stripes. But let me know in the thought, uh, <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments subscribe like the video we got way more racing videos coming out in this winter we're gonna have a huge racing event don't worry i know season two kind of got murked for some reason but um we still got four races in it and it's just kind of like on a delay right now but um there will be a lot more racing there will be a lot more videos and right now i'm going to take a little bit of a break for a week so if you guys subscribe don't think i disappeared i'm just on vacation enjoying life having a nice mental recharge with everything and um yeah so like subscribe let me know what you think and let me know if you guys found this or if you guys are going to pick this up with that being said i will see you guys very shortly in another video relatively soon